Hey guys, it's me, RC. Uh, I was actually asked to do this by Dragonborn over at Tamriel Vaults. And if you've never been here and played Skyrim, you are certainly missing out on a lot. Uh, character builds, discussions, whatever. But anyway, Dragonborn's one of the hosts, and uh, he is doing a focus here, as you can see on their main page, on mod reviews. And I had been asking about, um, in particular, about any interface programs, uh, or interface mods, I should say. Um, user interface right there 112 files now you'll notice uh, we have the special edition and we also have the regular vanilla version and they both 719 files now if we take a look at special edition the most endorsed is uh, QD inventory and if we take a look at this one it's actually not a bad uh, interface uh, if you're looking for one and just don't like the basic one that comes with the game this is one that that will work um, and it does have the ability when you click on value here to sort that out by value weight, uh, it was, but it will not show that as a separate column like Sky UI does. Uh, Sky UI, of course, if we come here, uh, by far 13.8 million downloads, uh, by, <laughs> by far the best uh, UI in the game, uh, but it has not been converted over for special edition yet. Uh, they are working on it, but they said it will be a lengthy process and do not expect it anytime soon. So anyway, I was looking for uh, something different and uh, I had asked on uh, the Tamriel Vault site here uh, if anybody had heard of anything and they said no, not really. So I just started browsing these and I started using this one. Um, it's okay. Now it still has the same format at the top that uh, you're used to seeing in vanilla. Um, so it doesn't change a lot of that. And that was one of the things I liked about Sky UI was the way that it broke everything out. Um, if we take a look at that, let's see if we can just kind of see some of the differences. All right, so now instead of being across the top, you have categories to the side and then internally and then of course you have the this uh, cog here that you can add a value weight category as well and all these categories are sortable so you can sort by type uh, by far the best uh, in the game well actually this is the original that you see in the game and this is what you see with Sky UI. So you can see the difference. Uh, this is under apparel. You can see this is the armor and whatnot. And then this is how it shows up in Sky UI. Uh, really, really love Sky UI. Now, if we go in and look at this, again, it's it's got a similar breakdown here as the Sky UI does. I did note that you can change by clicking on value that it will add a value weight category. These are not uh, sortable. I don't recall them being sortable. And you still have this main category across the top that you've got to click on or scroll through. And when you're talking to uh, a vendor, uh, their information shows up here, and you've got to actually use your right and left arrow keys to get over here. It is a little convoluted. It's not great, but it is better than this. 
Now, so I was using this and I said, God, I really miss Sky UI. And I came across a comment that told me that Sky UI version 2.2, that's important, version 2.2 will work, will work with special edition. Now there's some catches and I'll pull up my game, show you what it's doing, but I wanted to show you how to install it. Um, well, I tell you what, why don't we show you what it does first? Uh, so special edition, we'll go ahead and launch. Give it a second to load in here. And I have noticed that since I've added some more mods in, it has taken a little bit longer to load up. But that's okay. Now, this has Sky UI version 2.2 or 2 2 uh, in place. Now, here's the big thing you'll notice this warning. Now, Sky UI requires script extender SKSE to work correctly. It will work without it, but there will be a few bells and whistles that are not there. Um, this is the only thing that you'll have to deal with is this popping up. Now, you can see we no longer have the categories. Uh, we have the sortable tabs here. All right. Now, what we do not have is we do not have the search option here or to add value uh, weight. Now, what we can do is if we click here and sort by value, you can keep cycling through that and you finally get to a value weight. But you can only sort it high to low and low to high. All right. So it does work there. And you can do that by category as well. So you do have that value weight, which is something I really like because it helps me determine what to keep, what to drop if I, you know if I get overloaded, um, things of that nature. What it does not do, here's what it does not do. For books, for example, it gave you the uh, the little I logo if you had already read it. Well, I have no way of telling if I've already read something or not. So that's kind of disheartening. Um, but that is the only issue, you know, just a couple of issues, but the actual interface is still there from Sky UI. Now, uh, I wanna show you this, cause this is something, this is my favorites menu. This is another mod and it sorts it out, which is really handy and then you, hotkey and then they appear in your hotkey list but it's all pullable from right here rather than having to sort through but that's something different so just a little plug not my mod just one that I like so let's go ahead and get back out of here and we will quit and we'll get back to the topic at hand alright so we were talking about trying to use Sky UI so again you do get the new functioning screen, but you do lose the little cog to add columns, okay? Uh, everything else is there. Oh, you also notice you did not have, for armor, you did not have the type and the class and whatnot. Um, all you had was the weight and the value and armor or defense so you know you are missing a few things which is too bad and those are the things that are SKSE dependent okay so now let's talk about if you want to use Sky UI because again you know 13.8 million people can't be wrong uh, <laughs> you know uh, and just out of curiosity the number two option that's a world map that's a HUD Uh, 
lot of HUD stuff, but not UI. Well, that, <laughs> I guess when it came to it, oh, here's QD inventory. So 326,000. So that's the, basically the same one that's here. So you can see 326,000, 3.13.8 uh, million. Uh, this is by far probably the most used mod in the game. So how do we get this? How do we get it into, because you notice it's on Nexus for the vanilla edition, it is not available in, it is not available in the inter in special edition. Well, it's pretty easy. Now, here's the kicker. You need to open your Nexus mod manager, go into special edition, and load that up. And then click on Open Files and open the Mod folder. All right, and that gets you here. Okay, and you can see my list, my my zip files for all my mods. Okay, so we're going to downsize that for the moment, and I don't need that. And we're going to go back into Sky UI in the regular Nexus mods, and we're going to go to Files. And this is all the previous releases. And we're going to come down to 2.2, this one right here. And we're going to download it manually. Okay. Now I've already downloaded it, but it's not showing up there anymore. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and re download it. Continue. Continue with no donation. Sorry. And we're going to open with my file manager. Now you may choose to do this differently. You may want to save the file. Uh, I'm just going to do this. Now this opens up. Here's my zip, but I'm looking inside. So I want to go up one level. And there is, these are not related to this download. So we'll delete those. Uh, well, anyway. It's this one right here that we want. All right, so Sky UI 2-2. Then what we want to do is we want to open, not that one, the mod folder that we just opened a minute ago. Okay, this is the one we went into our Nexus Mod Manager. Right here, clicked on Open Mod Folders, and that opens this. So then what you want to do is you want to take this zip file, this one right here, Sky UI, and you want to drag it into this list to where it's a separate one. And here you can see it in mine from yesterday, uh, that that's where it is right there. So I've, all you do is left click and drag it and drop it into this folder and it will port itself and copy itself over here. All right, once that's done, then you're done with this download and you're done with this. So we can close that. All right. Now, when you're finished with that, come back into your mod manager and you may have to close it and then restart it to get it to register. But once you do, typically because it was a it was an interface file you would come down and you would look under user interface and I do have a couple there's that QD inventory that I was using that categorized favorites menu that I showed you uh, real quick and but you don't see sky UI in there why because it's showing up now as an unassigned because remember it's a vanilla program mod and we're in special edition Okay, so it's showing as unassigned because it is unassigned when it comes to the special edition. And you, you load it in the same way. You highlight it and then you'll click the check mark that would be here and it will install it. It will open the menu for you to do the setup and then you're good to go and it's in the game. Uh, so hopefully that helps you if you're like me and you like Sky UI. But the only one that I have seen any reference to is this one right here, the Sky UI 2.2. None of the other ones have been mentioned as working. And you have to download it manually. 
not with the manager. The reason for that is if you download it with the manager, it does not put it into special edition. It puts it into your vanilla Skyrim if you do it with manager. So you have to do it manually and then copy it into your special edition mod folder. So I hope that helps. I hope that gets uh, Sky UI in some of your games. I have no clue. This is for PC, of course. I have no clue if this works or if it's available on any of the consoles. But uh, if anybody does, you know, finds out that it is, please make a comment below uh, to let everybody else know. So anyway, hope that helps, Dragon. I hope this is what you were looking for. And thanks for checking out this uh, mod video for how to get Sky UI into your Skyrim Special Edition. Thanks a lot.